Welcome back to Vintage Family Recipes with Belle. Tonight I'm making Hungarian cakes, which are something we always put in our Christmas baskets when we gave people treats for the holidays. This is one of my favorite recipes. So it's actually probably also one of the most simple recipes you'll ever be able to make. It has a half pound of butter or margarine, I'm using butter, a quarter pound of cream cheese, and two and a quarter cups of flour as the mixture. So first, I'm just gonna cream together the sugar and the, and I'm sorry, the shortening. No, let me restart that completely. First, I am going to mix and cream together the butter and the cream cheese. The softer your butter and cream cheese are, the easier it mixes together. Mine has been sitting out on the counter for about an hour and a half, and it's nice and soft because of that. I'm just gonna scrape it down the sides once and mix it together one more time before I slowly start to add the flour. So somebody asked me what I was gonna do once I was done working my way through my grandmother's recipes. Well, I have lots of them, so it's gonna take me a while to work through them. There are some I'm not going to make, like I'm not gonna make pickled pig's feet. Mm -mm, not doing it. But she does have a lot, and some are more appropriate for summer. So it's gonna take me a while to work through them. But I would do baking first, and then cooking, dinners and that kind of stuff, and soups, and then, I have her preserve recipes, and I have all of her pickle recipes. I think she probably has about 40 pickle recipes. She was a master pickle maker. They were so good. Have I made them? Not without her help. So I really haven't made pickles since I was in my teens. So when I attempt this, eventually, it might be quite amusing. She also did things like pickled beets and pickled peaches, and I don't even know what else she pickled. And then. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, it's all mixed. Oh, it's heavy. Get this out of the way. I also need to wipe the flour off the counter because you don't roll them out with flour. You roll them out with powdered sugar. I'm going to sprinkle some powdered sugar on here. I'm going to make a ball. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon sugar on this side of it as well. Put the wax paper on top and roll it out. I'm going to peel it off. It looks like it's fairly thin. So now I need to cut this in two inch squares. And I still have a lot of dough in the bowl. The recipe says to break it into chunks and do this. I'm going to try to make it square first because I can reuse this dough. Okay, so I've made it rectangly ish Okay, two inches every time. <laughs> you would think, since I've quilted, that I'd be able to do this with dough, but not so much. Roll this a little bit back out, because I want to fill up this pan. The next part, and we usually, when we did this with my mom, we would do it with um, blackberry jam. I bought blackberry jam, but I don't know what I did with it. So 
I put it someplace safe, obviously. So my husband went to the store and he got strawberry preserve, preserve, sorry, not, yeah, don't use jelly. You need to use preserves or jam. He got strawberry, he got orange marmalade. He loves that stuff though. And then um, wild blueberry. So I'm going to start with the strawberry. And you take a little bit of jam and you put it down the cookie on an angle like that and then your next step is to bring the corners together like a blanket so i'm going to do that each time just a little bit down the diagonal don't use too much because then it'll just leak out onto your cookie sheet and that won't be fun. You want just enough. And that's too much for that one, so I'm gonna do it here on this one. And then once I get these folded, I'll be able to put a couple more on this sheet. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't overlap them too much. They're too close together. This one is little. So I want to just do a little bit in this one, not a whole lot. My second round, I will make them with the um, orange marmalade so that my husband can have some of those because I know he'll really like that. Oh, I forgot to turn on the oven. Um, 375 for eight minutes. So let me turn my oven on real quick. This one's got too much on it because it was little. I'm just gonna pull some of it off of there. There we go. They get sprinkled with powdered sugar, but I couldn't remember if it was before they went in the oven or after they come out of the oven, and it's after they come out of the oven. So I'm gonna wait till my timer, my oven um, warms up, and then I will put these in there for eight to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna move them out of the way so I can get ready to make um, another pan full. We have blueberry, strawberry, and one marmalade because he's the only one that likes marmalade, the dear husband. So. They're delicious. And nutritious or just delicious? Probably just delicious. <laughs> Probably just delicious. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing nutritious I mean, in it, this. It's like a little mini Danish cookie. It really is what it is. Oh, Probably. I never thought of them that way. Yeah. I just know that I can't eat them, and I miss them because they are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, my my head is gonna get cut off because I can't pretend to have a chair any longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're taller than I am. There you go. I can stand back a little. So there's bit. two blueberries left, and I thought the blueberry was too thin when we spread it out. What do you think? It's okay. Okay. I think the strawberry tastes better, but that's partly personal preference. Right, because you like strawberry a lot. I will say. The one thing with these is I think they are much better fresh out of the oven. Yes, I because agree the, with the that. strawberry, they've already cooled down to pretty much room temperature, uh -huh. and the blueberry is still warm. And even though I like the taste of the strawberry better, I still think the blueberry one is much better overall. And that's like the one downside with these. I think if you're going to make them, your guests are already there, and it goes from oven to table. Yeah. Right? I can see that. Um, because they are so much better just out of the oven. They're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us on Vintage Family Recipes with Belle. If you haven't had a chance yet, or this is the first time stopping by, leave us a like, a comment, take a moment to subscribe. Enjoy your holidays.